Hello everyone. So today we are going to start product costing. Product costing is separate sub module within the controlling like profit center accounting, cost center accounting, profitability analysis. So the product costing is used for the calculation of cost of goods manufactured. So cost of goods manufactured is comprised of material cost, activity cost and indirect overhead cost. Product costing is divided into three main phases. One is planning, which is standard cost estimation. So th in the second phase is cost object controlling and the third phase is material ledger actual costing. So different types of cost estimation can be calculated in product costing like base planning object where we have not created the material of the finished good. Second one is cost estimation without quantity structure. So in that phase, we have not known about the quantity structure of the material and in the third phase is cost estimation with quantity structure. So the quantity structure is divided into two components. One is BOM where we specify the materials which will be used for the production of finished good or semi finished good. So the second one is routing or master recipe where we allocate the activity types which will be done for the production of finished good or semi finished good. So quantity structure is comprised of bomb and routing or master recipe. So routing will be used when we are going to do the discrete manufacturing and master recipe will be used when we are in the process industry like oil, oil industry, beverage industry. So master recipe will be used in the process industry. In the bomb, we specify the materials which will be used for the manufacturing of finished goods. In routing, we specify the activities which will be performed on raw material or finished good, finish goods uh, or semi-finished goods to convert them into final product. So the cost, standard cost estimation where we are going to calculate the standard cost of all the materials so for this we are going to configure costing variant initially. So in the costing variant we specify the process for the calculation of material cost estimate. So following components are used for creating costing variant. First one is costing variant, costing type. So in the costing type we specify that we are going to calculate the actual cost or plan cost or standard cost. So valuation variant will specify how the cost will be calculated like we are going to use the average cost of the raw materials. So here we specify the material valuation activity type process. So how the activity type will be calculated activity type prices will be allocated to the finished goods. So subcontracting external processing overhead cost. So in the overhead cost, we specify how the our indirect overhead cost will be calculated and we are going to create the costing sheet and based upon the cost costing sheet system will automatically calculate the indirect overhead cost. So in the date control, we specify for which period the cost will be calculated. Quantity structure control, we specify either we are in process industry or in discrete manufacturing industry so transfer control and reference variant is used to specify the reference variant so in cost object controlling we specify costing variant for plan cost costing variant for actual cost and work in progress how the work in progress will be calculated so variance and settlement so the product costing scenarios are divided mainly divided into three types first is product cost by order and it is subdivided into three types one is production order which is used in the discrete manufacturing industry second one is process order which is used in the process industry and the third one is CO order which is used to calculate the standard cost estimation without quantity structure so the second scenario is product cost by period 
so it is used for the industries where we are going to calculate where we are going to produce only some of the finished good so very less amount of finished goods are manufactured like in the sugar industry we are going to produce the sugar only so our main product is sugar so we are going to calculate the period by period wise cost for the sugar so the sale order in this sale order costing in the sale order costing we are going to calculate the cost using the sale order so it is used for the industries where the production will start after receiving of the sale order from the customer like in the aeroplane industry first we receive the customer order and then we are going to pro then we are going to start the manufacturing of our goods so the sale order is our cost object in that scenario so this is the our view of product costing and in the next session we are going to start configuration and first we are going to create the enterprise structure for material management and sales and distribution so then we are going to start the costing variant configuration of costing variant where we can where we specify the costing type valuation variant and then we are going to do all the scenarios of product costing product cost by order product cost by period and sale order costing so thank you for watching this video